strong defensively, especially against the rush. Chandler with good protection. Gives it off to Weathersby. Weathersby out to the 43-yard line. Dennis Price and James Washington combine on the stop for UCLA. Dennis Price, he has had his best year yet as a UCLA Bruin. Back a couple of weeks ago, Terry Donahue said he was playing the best football of anybody in that secondary. He's played very well this year, very consistently. 53 tackles, three interceptions, one sack. He's had an outstanding season for the Bruins. Brings up second and six for Washington at their own 43-yard line. Jenkins, a fullback, picks up a yard. Terry Toomey was in on the stop along with Jeff Blasser, part of that defensive front of UCLA. Jim Waller, Terry Toomey, and Jeff Blasser. Dennis Price, flat on his stomach. He was shaken up on that last play. Well, Dennis Price, you know, 173 pounder, he gets involved in the interior line play. I mean, it's tough for those big guys. Time out on the field, 10 minutes, 44 seconds remaining, first quarter. UCLA leading early, 7 0. Today's game is brought to you by Stroh's and Stroh Light. Now you're talking good times, and Stroh's is spoken here by Discount Tire Centers for championship performance and unbeatable prices. Discount Tire Centers. We cut prices, not quality and by Carl Jr. with the new country fried steak sandwich. Chopstick on the inside, crispy on the outside. Now, down-home cooking is down at Carl Jr. 7-0 in favor of UCLA. Pac-10 action. The Bruins sitting pretty. Sole possession of first place, undefeated at 6-0 with two games remaining. They have the luxury where they could lose today and still with a victory next weekend over USC win the conference title and go to the Rose Bowl. And that's very true, Jeff, but if you're a UCLA Bruin, what you're going to want to do is you look at Coach Donahue down there. He's got those guys prepared. He wants to go undefeated in this Pac-10 season. Against Washington, Donahue's record, five and three. That makes him one of just two coaches in Bruin history. Red Sanders was the other to record three straight wins over the Huskies. He did it in 76, 77, and 78. Third and four from the 44 for Washington. Franklin in motion. Chandler on play action. Good protection. And Franklin wide open makes a reception at the Bruin 35-yard line. Allen Dial was covering for UCLA. A 21-yard pass play for the Huskies. Franklin in motion is going to be running a corner route. The Bruins will be rotating up as you look at Chandler drop back. In the meantime, Darrell Franklin's running a corner route in behind. Darrell handling it in front of Allen Dial. He makes a nice catch before he goes down to the ground. Dial coming over a little bit late. 38th reception of the campaign for Franklin. That puts him into the lead. He was tied with Brian Slater. First and 10, Washington. Handoff goes to Jenkins. And he battles all the way to the 30-yard line. Chance Johnson, one of the Bruins' fine inside linebackers, along with Carnell Lake, finally stopped Jenkins. Jenkins out of Stockton, California, a junior, six feet tall. He weighs in at 233 pounds. A stocky guy, 233 pounds on a six-foot frame. He'll get that yardage inside for you. Second and five from the Bruin 30-yard line. Chandler tripped, and now he goes down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Terry Toomey made sure that he stayed down. Terry Toomey, the, the fine nose guard of the UCLA defense, 46 tackles on the campaign. He's out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. 230-pounder. He's going against Byrne Brostek, the center at 6'3", 285. So that's going to be a matchup of size versus speed and quickness. Big third and 11 for Washington at the Bruin 36-yard line. The Huskies out of the I formation. Chandler drops straight back. Being rushed. Parnell Lake before Lake can bring him down. He tosses it off to Weathersby. And Weathersby is thrown for a loss back at the 46-yard line of UCLA. 
Good pressure put on by the Bruins, in particular Carnell Lake coming from his outside linebacker spot. An excellent job. You see Channel looking downfield, pulls the ball down there. Here go the Bruins in hot pursuit. 66, Waller is there. 31, Lake is there. He dishes the ball off at the last minute. Tries to get a completion to Vince Weathersby. Fourth and long, Eric Canton to punt. He's averaging just 25.7 a punt. Darrell Henley, the deep man for UCLA. He signals for a fair catch, and he makes it successfully at the Bruins' 22-yard line, a 24-yard punt. Timeout on the field, 7.58 remaining first quarter. UCLA leading Washington 7-0. Well, the Bruins have now scored in 190 consecutive games, improving their own NCAA record, and those are some of the numbers as to why. 223 yards rushing for the Bruins per game. 231 passing. That's a pretty much of a very, very well-balanced offense. Only eight yards separating your rushing from your passing. 454 total yards per game, which is outstanding. It's a number one in the Pac-10 and number seven in the nation, allowing the opponents, look at the scoring, 38-16. Excellent job. Now they have scored in 191 consecutive games with their 7-0 lead early in the first quarter. UCLA has the ball first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Willie Anderson, Mike Farr, wide to the left side. Paco Craig sent wide right. Out of the eye formation, Farr now goes in motion. First man through is James Primus, and he gets out to the 31-yard line. Bo Yates brought him down along with Darrell Hall. Yates is out of Lebanon, Oregon. He's a senior. Darrell Hall doing a nice job this season. Ball plays free safety. He's a junior out of Lompoc, California. Corwin Anthony in a tight end on the right side. The handoff goes to Eric Ball, and he is dropped for a loss on the play. Jay Roberts, the first man to hit him. Roberts plays the strong side linebacker out of Centralia, Washington, 6'4", 240, junior. Troy Aikman, what a superlative quarterback he has turned out to be for UCLA. Well, you heard what Don James says about him. He said that is the difference in the UCLA football team that, this year, and this is the reason they are 7-0 in the pack. Out of the shotgun on third and four. Over the middle, Farr has it. He also has first yard, uh, first down yardage. David Rill, along with Darrell Hall, combined on the tackle for Washington. Mike Farr running a curl round. He'll be coming right up over the top and right in the middle of your screen. Aikman doing a good job of hanging right there. There's Farr. He sees him. He takes it. He doesn't try to push the ball up the field when he doesn't have anything. Take what I can get. I'm going to get it right now. I'm going to go ahead and throw that ball in there to Mike Farr. First and 10 from the 36-yard line. Reggie Moore into the ball game wide left. Anderson gets the pass. And Flipper crosses out to the 46-yard line. Jay Roberts made the stop. Willie Anderson leads UCLA in receiving. He averages just under 20 a catch, and he has five TD catches this year, 13 in his illustrious career, and he'll go out for a breather. The number five on the career receiving list with 90, 1,777 yards and 13 TDs. Nice statistics for Willie Anderson. Second and one for the Bruins at their own 45-yard line. Aikman audibleizing. The Bruins lead it 7 nothing with just under six minutes to play. First quarter. Eric Ball trying to get outside. Cuts back inside. He's got some room. Look out. One man to beat. Touchdown to UCLA. touchdown of the game, his fifth in the last two weeks after being hampered by injuries most of 1987. Outstanding effort by the junior tailback. Again, we talked about in the pregame. Donahue's very happy. He's talking. He's happy. He's excited. This is good. Things are going well for him. But getting back to Eric Ball, I don't know how much they lose, in fact, by not having Gaston Green in there. Ball, a big guy, 217-pounder, heck of a run. 
course, a trio of UCLA Bruins that are suited up but are coming off injuries. And Jack mentioned Gaston Green off that pinched nerve. Charles Arbuckle, we have a penalty going against UCLA. Arbuckle had the ar arthroscopic uh, knee surgery. And senior fullback Mel Farr, who had a muscle pull behind his knee. Delay of game to call against UCLA. Alfredo Velasco, who is hit uh, on 41 of 41 PAT attempts, will have a little longer to try this time around. And it's no good. He misses his first one of the campaign. It was wide to the right. There is the find a sophomore quarterback, Kerry Conklin, who came on strong, taking over for Chandler when he hurt himself last weekend. Now, here's Eric Ball. Eric on Ball taking off run. around the right side. He gets some good blocking by 23. James Primus, who kicks out on the outside linebacker, Martin Harrison. Ball turns it up inside. He's off to the races. One man will have a shot at Tony Zachary, 25. Watch how Ball gets in behind Corwin Anthony. Uses him as a blocker. A heck of a job of running. Zachary cannot get to the ball carrier. Super job by Corwin Anthony. Touchdown. Timeout here at the Rose Bowl with five minutes and 34 seconds left. First quarter, UCLA leads Washington 13-0. Find out what's hot on the slopes this season on Ski Scene. Prime Ticket's weekly look at skiing in the West. Get the latest on ski fashion, equipment, technique, and more. Catch Ski Scene this Wednesday at 6.30. Right now, Washington trying to catch UCLA. Bruins took two minutes and 34 seconds to travel 78 yards, five plays, ball, scampered 54 yards for his second touchdown of the ball game, and the PAT was missed by Velasco. It's 13-0 UCLA. Wes Denton set to kick off. Greg Lewis and Steve Jones deep for Washington. Jones from his own 14-yard line. Gets out to the 24-yard line. Two quarterbacks getting the first play that they're going to Talking over with their uh, offensive coordinator, Gary Pinkle, who handles the quarterbacks for the University of Washington. UCLA, two touchdown runs from Eric Ball, and they lead it 13-0 with five and a half to play here in the first quarter. So Chris Chandler stays in the football game at quarterback. And we have a, a, a penalty against Washington. Chandler so far is perfect through the air. First and 10 from the 24-yard line. Tony Covington gets out to the 26, so a gain of two yards. Mike Lodish, another tackle on another. Chance Johnson, Mike Lodish combine on the stop for UCLA. Lodish, who backs up Jeff Glasser at left tackle out of Birmingham, Michigan, a sophomore. And Chance Johnson, the pride of Compton, California. Second and eight from the 26 for Washington. Weathersby and Jenkins in the backfield. Chandler to throw, getting rushed. Dumps it to Jenkins. Jenkins breaks one tackle. He gets out to the 35-yard line. Finally brought down by Ken Norton. James Washington, Ken Norton. This is an opportunity, Jeff, where Washington is going to have to put that ball in the air quicker than they had anticipated. Coming into today's ball game, they want to run that football against the Bruins, wear them down physically. That's not the case. That will not happen today. 
Franklin is wide left. Lockman is split out to the right. Franklin in motion. Second man, Weathersby, and he is hit and dropped by Ken Norton. Ken Norton, who's done the job all season long for the UCLA defense. Chandler through the air is four for four for 29 yards. Second and nine for Washington at the 38 yard line. Jenkins crosses the 40. It's out to the 43 yard line before he's finally dropped by Carnell Lake. Ben Hummel also in on the stop for UCLA. Hummel has been a pleasant surprise. He transferred over from SMU along with David Richards. And he has really come along. In fact, Terry Donahue was saying that he kind of wished that Hummel would be around another year. Especially with the injury problems that they have had at that right outside linebacker spot. Hummel, a very good addition for the Bruins defense. Third and one from the 44. On the option, Chandler, a nice fake, and he keeps it, and he gets the first down himself out very close to the 48, 49-yard line. He's a little slow getting up, too. He's got a little, uh, he's, he's breathing deep right now. He came into today's ballgame with a hip pointer. As you look at him walk back there, he's sitting in there on the 35-yard line. He's taking some deep breaths, trying to get himself back into shape again. That's a very painful injury, isn't it? It is the worst. From a pain standpoint, you can't believe how painful a hip pointer is. First and 10, Washington at their own 49-yard line. Just under three minutes to play first quarter. UCLA 13, Washington nothing. Washington keeps it on the ground, and they move into UCLA territory. Again, the ball carrier, Jenkins. Jenkins, the starting fullback. Came into the ball game as their number two rusher, averaging Second and six. just under five yards a pop. Franklin wide left, Lockman wide right. Now they shift out of split back to the I formation. Chandler on play action. Rolling right, and he fires to Lockman in a nice catch. He was covered by Gerald Henley. Henley did everything he could to break it up. So Lockman makes a nice play. This is the type of uh, form that Don James wants to see out of Chris Chandler all year. Now watch the arm strength. He's on the move. Whips that ball low outside, locked in, comes back. Good coverage, too, by Darrell Henley, but just a super pass, low and away from the defender. Locked in, a senior, an interesting story. He was with the team uh, three years ago and then quit. And then early in the year, saw how thin they were at wide receiver. Walked back on, and he's played quite a bit. And after the first man through, that's Jenkins, and he fights for a little bit of yardage out to the Bruin 36-yard line. Carnell Lake, Chance Johnson, Jeff Lasser, all in on the tackle for UCLA. Don James, one of the most respected head coaches in the collegiate game, in 17 seasons, has won 131 games. That includes four years at Kent State. Second and seven. Washington at the Bruin 36-yard line. A little over a minute to play first quarter. Weathersby. Jerry Toomey brought him down. Toomey admires Lawrence Taylor of New York Giant fame. Not a bad idol. No, no. Uh, LT is uh, a nice guy who uh, wants to emulate on the football field. Under 50 minutes to play first quarter. 13-0 in favor of UCLA. Third and four for Washington from the Bruin 33-yard line. Chandler over the middle, and it's complete to his tight end, Bill Ames. Bill Alan Dial made the tackle. Alan Dial. He's a horse, Bill Ames, 6'5", 242-pound sophomore. Started out the season as the number two tight end behind Scott Jones, but Scott didn't make the necessary catches. Here's Norton right here, the Butkus Award hopeful. Coming in on a blitz, he gets in there, he bounces off, 66. Kelly John Lewis, by that time the ball has already gone by him to the tight end. 
First and 10 for the Huskies at the Bruin 27 yard line. Chandler keeps the football and he gets on inside the 25 yard line. Ken Norton made the tackle. And that should be the last play of the first quarter as Terry Donahue looks on from the sideline. There is the gun ending the first quarter here at the Rose Bowl, where the score is UCLA 13, Washington nothing. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Tuesday, the Los Angeles Kings head back to the East Coast for another rugged road swing and waiting in the wings, the always dangerous New York Islanders. It's another prime ticket exclusive. See it all from the NASA Coliseum Tuesday as the Kings meet the Islanders. Great play by Pinkney. Now the ball to Humphreys over to Davis. Davis is 21 foot jumper. No, another fine rebound by Green. That gives him five in the game. The Magic of 360 turn with the river. Magic down the middle. Gives underneath to Worthy. Slam dunk. Back to Dumar. Good pass. He's down in the middle. The ball stolen by Worthy. He gives the ball to Coop. Back to Worthy. He'll ride it all the way under. Lay it up and in. Southern California MISL rivalry continues Wednesday night on Prime Ticket as the San Diego Sockers and Los Angeles Lasers square off on the carpet at the Forum. Prime Ticket will be there for an action-packed thriller. That's Wednesday night for the Sockers and the Lasers. Statistically, after one quarter of action, Washington has four more first downs, yards rushing UCLA 85, Eric Ball has 76 of those, 45 for Washington. Total yards, 102 to 88, one turnover for the Huskies, and they have had the football 12 minutes and 19 seconds, whereas UCLA has had it just 241. They have scored in a hurry. The Bruins lead it 13 nothing as we get ready for the start of the second quarter. Also, we have a report now. Dennis Price, remember, hurt early in the first quarter, suffered a sprained knee. He will not play anymore in this game today good crowd on hand. They were anticipating upwards of 70,000 for today's encounter. So far, the crowd has enjoyed what they've seen. 13-0 UCLA, second and seven for Washington at the Bruin 23-yard line. Chandler, quarterback. Chandler on play action. Good protection. Going for the end zone. Franklin has it. Touchdown. <laughs> Gerald Franklin, his third touchdown reception of 1987. A 24-yard scoring strike from Chris Chandler to Daryl Franklin. And Washington is on the scoreboard. That is the eighth touchdown pass of the campaign for Chandler. Randy Brownlee in to attempt the PAT. And he's been perfect on them, 24 out of 24. Make that 25 out of 25. 14 minutes, 53 seconds remaining. First half, and it's 13-7 now, UCLA. Bill Franco will be coming on the right side of your screen. He's running a corner route. He gets held up very nicely by the defensive back. Daryl Henley forces him back inside. Now watch him go up and take the ball away from the defensive back. Good coverage by Henley, but a nice job by Daryl Franco. There he is, seven. He's trying to get to the outside. Henley will not allow him. See him come back in to meet the ball. Excellent job by the receiver, Daryl Henley. His third TD catch of the season. So Chandler found his receiver, and it was a nice job by Franklin, who is sixth on Washington's career receiving list. Thirteen seven, UCLA as Washington closes the gap a little bit. Key series for the Huskies on that last drive. They wanted to get down and get some points on the board. Exactly what they did. They come back to within six points of the Bruins. James Primus and Brian Brown deep for UCLA. Brandy Brownlee ready to put the foot into it. 
Bravis has it go off his hands, out of bounds, automatic touchback. You're going to watch Franklin's going to be up at the top. There he is right there. He's going to come down, make a little out move, and then take off. He's going to get bumped also by Daryl Henley. Now he's going to break it back up and run a go route. And again, he's trying to get to the outside. Now the ball snapped. He takes off up the field. Henley's got good position on number two. A little outside move right there. Now see him take it upfield. Now a heck of a job by Chris Chandler, the quarterback, of laying that ball back to the inside, allowing his receiver to pull himself away from the defensive back. Heck of a catch by Daryl Franklin against Daryl Henley. James Primus in at fullback. Brian Brown at tailback for UCLA. And Brown gets the pitch. Got He's going to throw the football. And Corwin Anthony makes the catch at the 42-yard line. <laughs> little razzle-dazzle. Don James is normally doing that early in the ball game. This is just a super play here by the Bruins. A little quick toss back there to Brian Brown. In the meantime, Corwin Anthony fakes a down block. Now he's all alone. Number 40, Daryl Hall comes over and saves possibly a very, very big game. Brian Brown completes a 22-yard pass to tight end Corwin Anthony. First and 10 Bruins at their own 42-yard line. Pitch goes to Brown. He's going to run with it this time. And he dives for extra yardage out to the 47-yard line. In on the tackle, middle guard Brian Habib. He's out of Habib. Ellensburg, Washington, 6'7", 275, a senior. Brown on the year, three touchdowns. He averages over five and a half a carry. 378 total yards. He's really done a nice job off the bench for Terry Donahue and UCLA. Second and four from the 48. James Primus. He did not get the first down, but he gets across the midfield stripe. Jay Roberts was there for Washington. Ryan Brown, as you mentioned, averaging 5.8 yards per carry, which is an outstanding average when you consider he is the third tailback. Heck of a job by the youngster. These guys get a chance to play, and they go crazy. They take every advantage of every opportunity. 31 for the Bruins at the Washington 49-yard line. Danny Thompson into the ball game. He's in motion. Play action. Corwin Anthony can't hold on, and a nice job defensively by Washington. They were not fooled at all. No, they weren't. Ricky Andrews, the rover back, read that very nicely for the Huskies. Defense came up and up over the top and knocked that ball away. Heck of a job by Ricky Andrews. Kirk Maggio had to do the punting. Des Moines Williams, number 11, deep for the Huskies. Maggio is averaging 32.8. Williams is the door to Washington. Fair catch called for by Williams, and he makes it at his own 11-yard line. Nine-yard cross for Maggio. No return. Timeout here to Roseville. 13 minutes, five seconds. 13 to seven. The Lakers continue early season play tonight as they host the San Antonio Spurs. See the Lakers and Spurs tonight at 7.15 on Prime Ticket, your exclusive source for live Lakers home games. On a beautiful Southern California day, UCLA leading 13 to seven, and de defense, UCLA is number one in three out of four categories, Jack. Rushing three and one, UCLA number one, Washington third, Against the pass, the Huskies doing very, very well. Number one in the Pac-10, UCLA number two. In total defense, the Bruins number one, the Huskies number two. And in scoring, UCLA number one and number three for Washington. Washington has the football first and 10 at their own 11-yard line. Franklin, wide left. Lochnane split out to the right side. Washington out of the eye formation. Jenkins, first man through. Good yardage across the 20 up to the 21-yard line. Ken Norton, one of the Bruins, in on the tackle. Washington seems to be a little more comfortable the last two drives. The last drive going 76 yards for a touchdown as you look at Aaron Jenkins' numbers, 10 carries. So they may be a little bit more of a formidable fold offensively from here on out for the Bruins. 
First down from their own 21 yard line. Chandler on play action. Fires, nice catch made by Jenkins, and he's out to the 35 yard line. Eric Turner brought him down. That was a great athletic play by Jenkins. Jenkins, number 29 at the fullback spot. He leaves your pitcher on the left. Now watch him double catch this. The ball is high over his head. He goes up, tries to catch it over his shoulder. There's a second catch. Now watch this move inside. Whoop! Inside he goes with Daryl Henley. Picks up about four extra yards. Nice job by Aaron Jenkins. Another Washington first down. They're on the move at their own 35-yard line. A little over 12 minutes to play first half, 13-7. UCLA leading in this Pac-10 affair. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Jack Snow. Hope you're enjoying the action. Chandler, complete to Daryl Franklin, and he's hit and dropped immediately at the 45-yard line. Daryl Henley made the tackle. Franklin, number seven, 37 catches coming into today's ball game. We'll be running an out move. Comes up the field, pushes the defensor, defender back, makes a speed cut to the outside. Now watch him come back to the ball, makes a catch before he's hit by Daryl Henley, and then he loses the ball, but after he's out of bounds. Nice route, nice pass, nice catch. Chandler has hit on every one of his pass attempts. Nine of nine, 89 yards. Chandler, and you'll recall last season, he threw 20 touchdown passes, which was a new Washington single season record. He came in with high hopes, hopes of being an All-American candidate, of being a Heisman Trophy candidate, and unfortunately, the numbers have not been good for him this year. First down for Washington. Weathersby used as a wing back on that play. A great second effort by Jenkins. He broke a couple of tackles, and he gets out to the UCLA 46-yard line. Finally brought down by Alan Dial, the strong safety, and Eric Turner. Washington looking good. Again, starting on their own 11-yard line, have now pushed the ball all the way down to the just almost the 45-yard line of UCLA. Good, solid, controlled drive so far by the Huskies. Chandler has Weathersby and Jenkins split behind him. And he gives it to Jenkins. Jenkins. Jenkins down to the 43-yard line. And another Washington first down. First down. Jenkins coming off the field is going to get a little bit of a rest right here. It's some hard yardage the last few carries for Washington with John James. Don James you know, is only four and five versus UCLA, so he does not have a winning record against the Bruins. He'd like to get this one today to even his record. James Compton is into the ball game. Eight more first downs for Washington than UCLA. Chandler has it deflected incomplete. That is the first pass that he's missed on in this ball game. Trying to run a little screen to the near sideline, but Marcus Pat read it very, very well. Now watch Chandler drop back. Now watch him over here on the left side. He pump fakes to his right. 49 will come in right there. He messes up the whole screen. The ball is popped up in the air at the Second line of scrimmage. Nice job by UCLA. Line. Line. UCLA with 16 interceptions in their last half dozen games. Second and 10. Washington on the Bruin 43-yard line. Compton still on his feet, and he gets out to the 38-yard line. Finally brought down by Marcus Turner, Ken Norton, and Chance Johnson. James Compton hasn't played that much. He's out of Texas. He's a redshirt freshman. But when called upon, he's done a solid job for Don James. The crowd extolling the Bruin defense that gets up third and six for Washington. Chandler getting rushed. Norton is blocked out of the way. Going long. And it's almost intercepted by Eric Turner. He couldn't hold on to the football. Chandler miscommunicating with his outside receiver, Brent Lockname. Heck of a job by Eric Turner, though. You're going to see some good blocks right there. 75, Zandasi comes back, picks it off. See him lead him back to the inside. He should have thrown that ball to the outside. Eric Turner comes over, 
has the ball in his hands, should have made that interception. Eric Kent, the Washington punter, into the ball game. Wow. Henley again calling for a fair catch. And of course, he was just faking out the Washington defense. It rolled into the end zone. 38-yard punt. Nine minutes, 50 seconds remaining first half. 13-7, UCLA. Today's game is brought to you by Great Western's family of companies. Over $28 billion in assets. 100 years strong. Will always be there. And by Avis, who invite you to go in style with a new Cadillac or similar luxury car for only $45 a day. Remember, your other car is an Avis. Thirteen seven in favor of UCLA. Washington has had the football most of the first half. Well, you look at that uh, 1542 compared to 439, but remember now there's a 54-yard run and a 22-yard run by Eric Ball in there. Mark Eswick into the ball game for the Bruins. He's at fullback. Brian Brown at tailback. Eswick. And he gets a couple of yards, and that's it. Out to the 22-yard line. Dennis Brown in on the stop. Dennis Brown, a local product out of Los Angeles, 6'4", 302 pounds. He's a sophomore. He's played super football for the Huskies, and he's still improving. Highly recruited out of Long Beach Jordan High School a couple of years ago. Washington really wanted him in the worst way, Dennis Brown. Three wideouts in there for UCLA. Reggie Moore in motion, second and eight from the 22. Aikman in trouble, and he goes down. That man, Ricky Andrews, again, that rover back. Boy, did he play that smart. He's going to come right down the line of scrimmage. Check this out now. Ricky Andrews. Looking at the Washington offense, there's Chris Chandler dropping back, rolling out. A good field back blocked by Mike Zandowski. Looking downfield, he's going to throw this ball intended for Brent Lochnane. But 29, Eric Turner comes back inside, has it fall off his hands. A big play, could have been a big play for the Bruins. Chandler talking things over on the sideline while UCLA has a big third and 11. Aikman to throw. Good protection, now he fires incomplete, intended for Estwick. Bruce Beal doing a nice job covering on the play, and a frustrated Troy Aikman goes to the Bruins sideline. Bob Willig, the defensive end, putting pressure on Aikman. 8.28 remaining until halftime. UCLA leading by a half dozen points. Harold Barkay in to do the punting, averaging 42 a punt. His long this year, 60 versus Oregon. Jamoy Williams, the deep man for the Huskies. He shanked it. So Barkay did not get off a very good punt. It traveled just 21 yards. Timeout here at the pool. 8.22 left until halftime. 13-7, Bruins. UCLA leading Washington 13-7 with 8.22 remaining in the first half. And sophomore quarterback Gary Conklin comes in and takes over for the senior Chris Chandler, who, remember, has a hip pointer. And it was Conklin who came in when he was hurt in the first quarter last weekend. And he helped Washington to a 21-21 tie versus Arizona. His numbers on the campaign, 18 of 32, 237 yards. His touchdown passing situation is two. He has not thrown an interception. He is a future star. And he's going to throw. And it's complete to Ames. And Ames is knocked out of bounds inside the Bruins 35-yard line. Smart call on the first play with a new quarterback. Give him a good high percentage pass. Let him go to that tight end, which he did to Bill Ames, a big tight end, 6'5", 242 pounder. You've got a Bruin down out there on the field. He's down on all fours. That is Ken Norton shaking up on that last play. 
Plus, he took a pop a few minutes ago when he was trying for a quarterback sack. Yeah, he got, a, he got blindsided very nicely by Mike Zandowski. Norton, he's hurting. He's down. He's trying to get some air. He's, uh, he's in some pain. Harry Conklin. What they're doing right now, Jeff, is they're asking him, where is the pain originating from? Where are you hurting? You saw him take his right arm and bring it from the ground up into his chest area. And now they say, just lay back, relax. Looks like he may be holding on to that left knee in some fashion. They could ill lose, ill afford to lose Norton at this stage. Yeah, you're right. I agree with you 100%. He's just such a great competitor. such a great ball player. And there's Donahue. He's concerned because he does not want to lose Ken Norton either. Check him out. 41. There he is. Nice drop back. He sets up nice. Reads the flow of the quarterback. Conklin. He goes to the outside. Here comes Ames. A big tight end. He goes one-on-one. -on -one. I'll tell you, I think Ames wins that battle. And he may have gotten hurt going down or maybe possibly being run over by one of his own teammates or by Bill Ames, a tight end for Washington. Ken Norton, one of the finalists for the Butkus Award. Washington has had the upper hand in the series in the last four games. They've won two, lost one, and then came from behind dramatically and got the tie last year in the game in Seattle, 17-17. Norton's still down. I think he's going to be getting up pretty soon. He may just be trying to get his breath until he can come to and get all his faculties and then uh, walk off the field. He looks like he's in, in decent shape. There he goes. He's up now, and the fans give him a well-deserved round of applause. And Barry Donahue heaves a sigh of relief. He may have gotten the wind knocked out of him, and also he may have been dinged a little bit when he made contact with Bill Ames, the tight end for Washington. But he looks like he's, uh, he's okay. He's leaving the field under his own power. He'll be back, I'm sure. 13-7, UCLA leading with 8 minutes and 15 seconds remaining here in the first half. Second and one for Washington at the 31. Conklin to Jenkins, and he hits a brick wall. Ben Hummel was there. Carnell Lake was there. Jeff Glasser was there. Super job by the Bruins of stacking up the interior line from tackle or from guard to guard. Brent Weesey, Burn, Brostek, and uh, Kelly John Lewis for Washington stacked up nicely by the inside line and linebackers of the Bruins. Doug Klein in for the Bruins. Eric Turner out. Third and one. Jenkins. And he's got more than enough yardage for a Washington first down. Doug Klein, who just came into the football game, made the tackle for UCLA. Doug has had a fine season out of Arvada, Colorado, 6'2", 244, a junior. First and 10, Washington at the Bruin, 26-yard line, under eight minutes to play here in the first half. Gary Conklin, the sophomore quarterback, has taken over for Chandler. On the option, he pitches to Weathersby, and he's tripped up and then hit and dropped by Marcus Turner. Marcus Turner playing that very, very well for the Bruins. Weathersby is a straight-on runner, so he uh, takes some pops, and he gets hurt quite a bit of the time, but he uh, he plays banged up. Well, we talked about him earlier as being a pound and popper. He'll run and run and run and pound you and pound you, and then he'll pop one for a big game. Second and eight for Washington. Weathersby again. He's got room up the middle. What a great move. He's inside the 10 all the way down to the Bruins six-yard line. James Washington finally wrestles him to the Rose Bowl turf. 18-yard pickup for Weathersby. Weathersby number 22, the eye back, the tailback, 202 pounder gets up in there, gets a good block from Brett Weiss. We see the right guard and Mike Zandowski, the right tackle. I watch him bounce back to the outside. James Washington comes over for the Brewers and prevents a touchdown. James Compton into the lineup. Short yardage. The 
goal line team in there. Tony Covington, who's very good at short yardage. He's also into the game on the option. Covington has the football, and he's down at the four-yard line. Darrell Henley made the stop for UCLA. Gaston Green with the pinched nerve in his neck, watching from the Bruins' sideline. You may still be about a week away, a pinched nerve. Those things can come back so quickly and haunt you. You better rest it till you're feeling 100% or close to 100% as you can be before you go back in and play. Washington with the double tight end set. Scott Jones on the right side. Bill Lane's on the left side. Covington. Touchdown, Washington. Tony Covington scores his seventh touchdown of the campaign. And the Washington people who have made the trip down, they've got something to cheer about. The ball game is deadlocked at 13-13. And now that missed PAT comes into play. Boy, yeah, that's an understatement. You're exactly right. Nice job of running, too. There he is, 39. Tony Covington, 6'2", 213-pound junior. Again, again, running in behind that massive offensive line. Covington takes the ball, veers off to the right side out of the full house. Backfield gets in behind Brett Weese, Mike Zandowski, and Byrne Brostek, the offensive center. That's a lot of beef. See how the offensive line spreads out the UCLA defensive line. Look at the hole that's right there. It just follows 36. James Compton right into the hole, into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Aaron Jenkins was shaken up on that last play, and he has helped off of the ball game. You can see him limping. Brownlee on the PAT. It's good. Timeout here at the Rose Bowl. Five minutes and 32 seconds left. First half, Washington has taken the lead on UCLA, 14 to 13. So the Huskies in under three minutes traveled 40 yards in seven plays, and then Covington, who is tough in short yardage situations, carries it in from the four yard line, and Washington now leading UCLA, 14 to 13. Randy Brownlee set the kickoff for the Huskies, James Primus and Brian Brown deep for UCLA. Brown is averaging 21.4 yards a return. Primus is averaging 20 yards a return. Primus has a long return of 33. Brown has a long return of 37. Jerry Donahue would love to see a long one right now. Brown from his own one yard line. And he's hit and dropped at the 17-yard line. Travis in on the stop for Washington. Good crowd on hand. Beautiful day here in Pasadena, California. Total play so far in the ball game. Washington with 39, UCLA with just 13. Troy Aikman, the outstanding junior quarterback, sends Paco Craig and Willie Anderson wide left, out of the eye, James Primus at full. Eric Ball, the tailback. And he crosses the 30, gets out to the 32-yard line. David Rill made the stop for Washington. Ball, four carries, 90 yards, and two TDs, and we're still in the first half. I was going to say, that's a good ball game for a lot of guys. <laughs> that's right, it certainly is. First and 10 Bruins from their own 31-yard line. Primus, the fullback, and he is tackled immediately by the middle guard, Brian Habib. James Primus. He's out of National City, California. This is his senior campaign. Not real big for a fullback either. 5'11", 195 pounds, but very, very tough and very durable and excellent blocker. Second and nine from the 32-yard line for UCLA. Aikman rolling left. Good protection. Fires and it's complete to Anderson. Anderson trying to make a couple of juke moves, but he can't get away and he goes down at the 45-yard line. Bruce Beal was there, a 13-yard pickup for the Bruins. And another first down. 
Nice play execution by the Bruins. Quarterback and outside receivers running from a slot formation. Outside man going out. Slot man running a turn in. Heck of a job by Willie Anderson. A nice spotting of the ball by Troy Aikman. First down from the 45, dropping straight back. Aikman getting rushed over the middle. Incomplete, and what a collision. Brian Brown head on with Lilo Lang. Brown, the intended receiver, but it was overthrown. Well, I'll tell you what, that ball's going to be over his head. You're going to watch Brian Brown come out of the backfield and circle out. Aikman sees he's all alone now. He just, he should pull the string just a little bit more of the ball. Now watch the pop coming in from Lilo Lang on the right. Wham! Whoa! Hello! Leave a wake-up call. Brings up second and ten from the 45. The pitch goes to Eric Ball. Gets out to the 47-yard line. Bo Yates tripped him up. Bo Yates. Haven't heard too much from uh, Bo Yates, the outside linebacker for Washington, but definitely one of the finer linebackers in the Pac-10. 51 tackles, three for a loss, one fumble recovery, two sacks, two interceptions, and one TD versus Arizona State. There's the story with under four minutes to play here in the first half. A one-point lead for Washington. Out of the shotgun. Aikman fires and hits Paco Cray at the 38-yard line of Washington. Paco Cray coming from the right side of the screen. He will read the... Zone coverage in the secondary, find the seam. A nice job by Aikman, who zips that ball in their 15-yard gain on the play. There he is, Paco Craig. Nice job of reading. Look at him come inside before he's finally brought down by Lilo Lang. Another UCLA first down at the Washington 37. On play action, Aikman has all day. Now he fires complete to Eric Ball. He beats Lang. He gets by Roberts, and he's caught from behind inside the 10-yard line. 29-yard pickup for UCLA. Super job. Another big, big play by Eric Ball, the junior tailback. Now, Eric Ball will be the third or fourth receiver. He'll be to the far right side of the screen. Aikman finally comes back to him, dumps it off. Now watch the outside block. Whoa, I think Paco Craig got a super block. Look at it. Ball gets by Lang. Gets by, there's 85. He gets by Jay Roberts before he's finally corralled. Watch, oh, no, what, Reggie Moore's a key block. Nice block by Reggie Moore. Back to live action on first and goal. Ball goes out of bounds. David Rill was there for Washington. Watch, watch this block again, Reggie Moore. Boy, does he pop Bo Yates. He gives him a good one. That was close, too, because the ball was almost still in the air almost when he made that block. But just a great run after the catch by Eric Ball. Danny Thompson into the ball game for UCLA. Out of the eye formation. Second and goal from the nine. Thompson in motion. On play action. Aikman dumps it off to James Primus. He's in trouble. And he is thrown for a loss at the 11-yard line. David Rill, you'll hear that name defensively for Washington all day long. He was in on the tackle. Fine job of play action by the Bruin offense, getting down to that two-minute mark. Inside of two minutes left to go in the first half. Super job by the offense of UCLA, but great recovery by the Washington Huskies defense. We've got a timeout. One minute, 56 seconds left in the first half. UCLA leading, or Washington leading UCLA 14-13. UCLA jumped out in front early in this football game, 13 to nothing, but Washington has come from behind and shown great character. They lead it by one point. UCLA has the football third and goal from their Washington 11. Out of the uh, shotgun. Aikman into the end zone, intended for Mike Barr, almost intercepted by Daryl Hall of the Huskies. Good position by Daryl Hall, but I think the receiver, Mike Farr, stopped on that play. He came down around a turn in, and 
as he came inside, he just stopped. Now watch Aikman right now. He's going to lead Farr right into the goalpost area, but Farr kind of slows down right there and now tries to get going again. Almost picked off by Daryl Hall. Alfredo Velasco in to attempt a 28-yard field goal. He's hit on 14 of 18 this season. And it's good. So with one minute and 44 seconds remaining on the clock here in the first half, Alfredo Velasco puts UCLA back out in front, 16 to 14, with his 15th field goal of the campaign. Velasco, by the way, leads the Pac-10 in scoring. Coach Don Riley, back at the Maggio, Velasco, pats him on the hips, says, let's get going, that's what we want, we want the lead back. Let's go out there and take care of business. The kicking game has become so vital in football, and that has been one of the weaknesses of Washington's team here in 1987. Yeah, they haven't been very consistent, not as consistent as Don James would uh, have, liked, have liked them to be, so therefore they've got to uh, improve in that area. Wes Denton ready to kick off for UCLA. Greg Lewis and Steve Jones deep for Washington. Lewis from his own four-yard line. And he gets out to the 22-yard line. McGill in on the stop for the Bruins. This will be interesting to see if the Huskies go to a two-minute type offense and try to get that ball down the field for at least an opportunity for a field goal. Kerry Conklin stays in at quarterback. He's the sophomore, 6'4", 215-pounder from Yakima, Washington. They were hoping to be able to redshirt him this year, but the injury to Chandler last week has put that on hold. Jenkins gets up close to the 25-yard line. Wilcox in on the play for UCLA. Well, I guess we got our answer, Jeff, on that last one. They're going to try and run this clock out, even though they do have three timeouts left. Washington with three timeouts left, UCLA with two. Second and eight for Washington from the 24. Doug Petrich, wide left. Franklin, wide right. And now Ames, the tight end, shifts to the left side, and Petrich goes in motion. Conklin being rushed, he gets it off, almost intercepted by Marcus Patton at the 30-yard line. Tremendous pressure on that last play put on by Mike Lodish for UCLA. Conklin did a heck of a job just to try and stay on his feet to get rid of that football. Lodish will be 94 coming, watch him come shooting right there. there Conklin back, back, he's looking, he's rolling to his right. Here comes Lodish, he gets by his blocker, Brent Weesey. Puts the pressure on the pass, a little bit under throw, and almost picked off by a Bruin. Third and eight for Washington at their own 24-yard line. Under a minute to play, first half. Jenkins, good yardage, still on his feet with a nice second effort, gets all the way out to the 45-yard line. Another first down for Washington, a 20-yard pickup for Aaron Jenkins. Carnell Lake finally brought him down. Conklin on play action, and he fires complete. All the way out to the 47-yard line. Bill Ames, the man who caught the ball, Marcus Patton, the Bruin that tackled him. And now we have a timeout called by Washington. That stops the clock with 34 seconds remaining here until halftime. UCLA leading Washington 16 to 14. More great college football action coming your way next weekend right here on Prime Ticket on Saturday, November 21st. We've got an exciting doubleheader at 7. The University of the Pacific Tigers take on the Rebels of UNLV. Then at 11, the Stanford Cardinal host the California Golden Bears. On Sunday, the 22nd, it's the big one. USC and UCLA 
kickoff at 4 p.m. For the best in college football, keep it right here, the Prime Ticket Network. Well, you look at Washington now, they're in decent shape. You got the ball up here on the 47-yard line. You know, and now I go back to the first play that they ran when they got the ball with just under two minutes to go. Now they're in a position right now where they can try, and they're close enough with a couple of big, big gains, medium gains. They're in field goal range. Randy Brownlee is their field goal man, and he's watching from the sideline. Conklin steps up in the pocket and then throws it way out of bounds. We had Franklin and Weathersby to the near sideline. I believe he's trying to go to his split receiver, Daryl Franklin, on that last play, but he just uh, just missed him through the ball over his head and out of bounds. Brownlee, a barefooted field goal kicker. He has had his problems of late. Mid-season, he had hit eight straight, but he has missed five consecutive field goal tries, and that shakes up the kicker's confidence. Yeah, that, that will do it. When you're 0 for 5, that'll, that'll rattle your cage. Third and eight. Conklin again to throw. Again, looking for Franklin, and we've got Washington on a late hit. Penalty flag throw. It's a good call. It's going to be a call on James Washington of UCLA. The ball was over the receiver, intended receiver's head, cleared out of bounds. It was a very late hit. Well, there's a big break for Washington. Absolutely. A 25 seconds left. A personal foul like that. He's shaking his head. He can't understand why, but we're going to get a good view of it. Conklin dropping back, having a little trouble reading the defenses in the last two plays. There's the ball out of bounds. Wham! Boy, does Franklin take a hit. Way late. The official immediately goes to his hanky, drops it down. Good call by Larry Thompson and his crew. So that gives Washington a first down at the Bruin 38-yard line with 25 seconds left, first half, 16-14, UCLA leading. On play action, good protection for Conklin, throwing up the middle, it's intercepted by Marcus Turner. 25. And he's out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Marcus Turner, his third interception of the campaign, the eighth of his career. Marcus Turner was playing deep center field for the Bruins. Conklin has his receiver open. He just overthrows him. The third high pass in a row going for Franklin. There's Turner comes in behind, picks it off, off to the races. Now he's trying to get outside, get by Mike Zandowski, that big 300-pound or 299-pound tackle takes it out of bounds, stops the clock for the Bruins. 14 seconds remaining, first half. We'll see if Aikman just eats up the clock. He's rolling right, being rushed, gets away from the man, but he can't get away from Dennis Brown. Dennis Brown puts him down at the 35-yard line. Martin Harrison had a real good shot at him, but he left his feet early. Aikman just ducked back underneath it. Nice job by Aikman. There's the gun ending the first half of this Pac-10 ball game. The score, UCLA 16, Washington 14. Back with after these messages. We are ready now for the second half kickoff. Randy Brownlee will be kicking off to UCLA. Ryan Brown and James Primus, the deep man. Brown from his three-yard line. A nice return all the way out to the 31-yard line. Des Moines Williams made the tackle for the Huskies. So UCLA leading Washington 16 to 14 as we open up the second half of action. Troy Aikman, the quarterback, 6'3 and a half, 217 pound junior out of Henrietta, Oklahoma. James Primus at fullback, Eric Ball at tailback. They're split behind Aikman. Anderson wide left, Paco Craig wide right. Aikman to throw, and it's complete to the tight end, Corwin Anthony. He gets it out to the 39-yard line. Ricky Andrews, a Washington Rover, shaken up on the play. Corwin Anthony coming in, another big ball game as you look at Anthony, who's down. Ricky Andrews. Looks like he may be out just a little bit, popping that big tight end, Corwin Anthony. 
Ricky Andrews, a valuable member of the Washington defense. He's very versatile. He can play inside linebacker or the outside linebacker slot as well as rover back. Washington oftentimes will use that rover back as a strong safety when they take their rover back, in this case Ricky Andrews, as you're looking at him down there on the field, and you put the term rover, they'll, they'll run him around the field. He may play some strong side, play some weak side. He'll spot himself where he thinks he may be able to help that defense the most. Chris Chandler, the senior quarterback, he started the game and then was replaced by Kerry Conklin. We'll have to wait and see who plays the QB spot when Washington gets their hands on the football here in the second half. Remember, Chandler has that painful hip pointer injury that he suffered last weekend in the game against Arizona as they continue to tend to Ricky Andrews. UCLA leading by two, but statistically, Washington has the upper hand. Nine more first downs, 24 more rushing yards in the Bruins, four more through the air, 28 total yards more for Washington than UCLA. They have the two turnovers, and Jack, they've had the football twice as much. Yeah, almost two to one in time of possession. Again, that's because of the outstanding ground game, the running game for the uh, Washington Huskies. Second and one for the Bruins at their own 39. Primus, he did not get the first down. Nice job by the Huskies' defense. First man to make the stop was Bob Willig, defensive end. He's out of Santa Fe Springs, California, 6'5", 256, a junior. Ricky Andrews is in the lineup for Washington. Now we've got penalty flags all over the place. There's some movement in the offensive line. You see, it may have been the left side, the left tackle, Russ Warnick. He's kind of slapped his hands together once, uh, once he came back and set up. See if you see any movement across anywhere along the line for you see, there's Thompson going in motion, the shift by the Washington defense. There's Warnick right there, 74, he knows it. He's offside, Outside. crucial Outside. play for the Bruins. Third down. That's right, instead of a third and one, they have it third and six from their own 35-yard line. Three penalties for UCLA, 25 yards. Washington has been perfect thus far. UCLA out of the shotgun. Over the middle, complete to Mike Carr. He breaks the tackle. And he is tripped up from behind at the 38-yard line. Bruce Beal finally caught him. 29 yards on the play. And a mad rush coming from the Washington defense. Mike Farr's in the slot running a turn-in route. Aikman stays with him all the way. Guns that ball in there. Puts a little move inside, turns to the outside. Now here comes 48, Bruce Beal. If he doesn't make a tackle, it's a touchdown for Mike Farr. Heck of a job of pursuing by Bruce Beal. First and 10, UCLA at the Washington 36-yard line. Reggie Moore, wide right for UCLA, out of the eye. Mel Farr to the ball game at fullback on play action. Aikman has all day. Now he's rushed, and he fires, and it's complete to Reggie Moore, and he's down at the Washington 20-yard line. Brought down by Lilo Lang. 17-yard pickup for UCLA. You know, the Bruins were criticized early in the season about the offensive line not allowing their quarterback to have enough time for pass protection. But look at the job that they do right here. The interior line, Kidder, Frank Cornish, Rick Mayer, the guards in the center, the two tackles, David Richards and Russ Warnick, all the time in the world before Aikman finally finds his outside receiver, Reggie Moore, hits him in the flat, brought down by Lalo Lang. Anderson in motion. Mel Farr. He gets down to the 14-yard line. Finally brought down by Bruce Beal, the inside linebacker for Washington. Beal is tough. He's aggressive, and he is used on special teams as well. Mel Farr is coming into this ballgame, 28 carries, 122 yards. Look at the average, 4.4. That's outstanding for a fullback, 4.4 yards a carry. And he is not 100%. Second and five for the Bruins at the Washington 14-yard line. Eric Ball, and he is down at the 15-yard line. 
Jay Roberts, the man who made the tackle for Washington. Troy Aikman, for most of the season, has led the nation in passing efficiency. His completion percentage, 67%, is second to Rick Neuheisel's school record, 69.3%, set in 1983. Out of the shotgun. Third down and six. Aikman, incomplete, intended for Paco Craig at the two-yard line. Eugene Burkhalter was there, so was Tony Zachary. Paco Craig. Paco Craig running a slant from the left side. Comes down a little inside move with an outside move with his feet. Now watch the timing between Tony Zachary and Eugene Burkhalter on a high pass. Would have been a difficult catch for Paco Craig, but he has made tougher. Velasco will. Alfredo Velasco is in for UCLA to attempt a 32-yard field goal. Out of the hold of Kurt Maggio. It's good. I'm out here at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. 11 34 seconds remaining third quarter. UCLA expands their lead 19 to 14 over Washington. Today's game is brought to you by Strohs and Strohlite. Now you're talking good times and Strohs is spoken here by Discount Tire Centers for championship performance and unbeatable prices. Discount Tire Centers. We cut prices, not quality. And by Carl's Jr. with the new country fried steak sandwich. Chop steak on the inside, crispy on the outside. Now, down home cooking is down at Carl's Jr. Wes Denton to kick off. Jones and Lewis deep for Washington. Jones from his own three. And he gets all the way out to the 30-yard line, brought down by Randy Beverly of UCLA. So a nice return by Steve Jones, who averages 19 for a return. His long is 45, and he puts Washington in pretty good field position. A five-point lead for UCLA with 11.29 left here in the third quarter of this Pac-10 ball game. I'm Jeff Witcher, along with Jack Snow. Glad you could spend part of your weekend with us. Kerry Conklin in at quarterback, the sophomore. On the option to Weathersby, and Weathersby gets it out to the 32-yard line. Brought down by Ben Hummel, Allen Dial, and Chance Johnson. Conklin doing a good job of getting that ball away as you look at Ben Weathersby. He took a pop. Uh -oh. He's hurting just a little bit. Weathers being another local product out of Los Angeles, 5'11", 202 pound junior. Second and eight for Washington from their own 32 yard line. Franklin wide left, he goes in motion. Lockman wide right. Rolling left is Conklin, and it's over the head of Aaron Jenkins, the intended receiver. Jenkins a little bit upset because he knew he was open. Conklin should have gotten that ball to him, would have picked up the first down and more. Kerry knows that too. Two of seven for 11 yards and one interception. A far cry as we get ready to listen to Larry Thompson from last week for Conklin. A is being given to the defense. Third down. So UCLA has just gotten a sideline warning. It's third and eight now for Washington. Tony Kellington in the ball game in the backfield for the Huskies. Conklin running for his life. Fires to Franklin. A nice catch, and he's out of bounds at the UCLA 42-yard line. Nice catch. We got a flag down on the play, though. They may bring it back. James Washington made the stop. A 26-yard pickup. Let's wait and see what the penalty is. Gary Conklin drops looking to his right now he's just going to roll all the way to his left side looking for Daryl Franklin this is a good pass on the run his best long pass so far a little bit high but right there on the money to Daryl Franklin first down there he is right there seven Daryl Franklin comes in out of a slot formation breaks to the outside Conklin gets the ball out there to him looks at it all the way in makes the catch a nice job before being pushed out of bounds the penalty was offsides against UCLA naturally declined by the Huskies first and ten Washington at the Bruin 42 yard line 
Conklin. Bad pass intended for Tony Covington. He had plenty of time, but he felt the pressure, and he rushed it, and it cost him. He did rush it a little bit, but I will give some credit to Conklin. It was not a real good route run by Tony Covington. He did not give the quarterback an easy target to lay that ball into. He ran a straight line rather than a circle, and that makes it tough for the quarterback to try and drop that ball in there. Aaron Jenkins in, Tony Covington out. Second and 10, Washington at the Bruin 42-yard line. Ryan Slater, who has a bad case of the flu, into the ball game wide right. Jenkins. Jenkins gets it to the 39-yard line. Brought down by UCLA's Chance Johnson. Brad Bryson was also in on the play. So far this year for the Huskies, the third quarter has not been their most productive. Their most productive quarters are the second and the fourth quarters in these football games. Third and seven for Washington. On play action, Conklin fires for Franklin, but it's out of bounds, incomplete. Franklin running a deep square out on the far side. Good coverage by UCLA. Daryl Henley covering him very well. Again, not a real good pass either by Kerry Conklin. That'll bring up a punting situation. Daryl Henley will go deep for UCLA. Henley averages a little over 11 yards of return. Eric Canton gets it off. Fair catch called for by Henley, and this one again rolls into the end zone. But a penalty flag is down, so hold everything. That was a 39-yard punt by Canton. This is going to be against UCLA. It's going to move that ball five yards closer. It's against Washington, illegal procedure. Larry Thompson, the referee, talking it over with Captain uh, Terry Toomey of the defense. So UCLA declines the penalty. That'll cause a timeout. 9.48 left, third quarter, UCLA 19, Washington 14. Back after this. Record crowd here, 106,869. That was for a USC Ohio State Rose Bowl game back in 1973. First and 10, UCLA at their own 20 yard line. Primus at full, ball at tailback. Anderson in motion. Eric Ball gets out to the 24 yard line. Lilo Lang came in to make the tackle for Washington. Lilo Lang, out of Los Angeles, was a quarterback in high school. In fact, his redshirt year at Washington in 1985, he played the position, and then in 86, was moved to defense. Well, he's a good athlete. 5'11", uh, 184-pounder, got good instincts. Eric Ball, eight carries for 93 yards and two touchdowns on the day, having an outstanding day. Second and six for the Bruins at their own 24-yard line. Aikman audibilizing. Gets it to the fullback, Primus, and he gets up to the 25, and that's all. Washington played that very, very well. Dennis Brown coming in on a stunt along with Brian Habib. The left defensive end and the nose tackle for Washington. We have an official's timeout, and a UCLA player is down. Donahue yelling for Aikman. He's trying to get Aikman's attention. Primus is the injured Bruin. James Primus is the UCLA player that's down on his back. And he's okay. He just gotten the wind knocked out of him or, you know, maybe a, got his bell rung a little bit, but he's getting off the field under his own power. He looks good, jogged off. 
Eight minutes and 54 seconds remaining here in the third quarter of this one. UCLA holding on to a five-point lead over Washington. This would be a good drive for UCLA to put something together, move that ball down the field, some good uh, selection of plays, some, some control-type passes, maybe try and sneak one up deep, try and sneak Willie Anderson or Paco Craig deep for a quick score. The Bruins can come here and in this drive and put some points on the board. Not only will they lengthen their lead, increase their lead, but they may take some of the wind out of the sails of the Huskies. On the other hand, looking at it from the Washington standpoint, they want to shut them down right here, force UCLA to punt the ball, get good field position, try and take that ball down the field, punch a touchdown across, and take the lead. UCLA trying to remain undefeated in Pac-10 action. They're 6-0, and and they have a five-point advantage over the Huskies so far today. Aikman sends Paco Craig wide right. Anderson wide left. When he fires and it's complete to Mel Farr and he's out to the 32-33 yard line. Bruce Beal brought him down. First down for UCLA. Mel Farr running a little flare action out of the backfield. Good control receiver. They have not used him much this year at all as a receiver, but a big catch on that last play for UCLA. He averages over 10 yards a catch when they do use him as a receiver. First and 10, UCLA 33. The pitch goes to Eric Ball. Cuts it back inside. And he gets out to the 40-yard line where he's game tackled by Washington. Burkhalter was there. Bruce Beal. Art Hunter, along with Jay Roberts, all in on the stop for the Huskies. There's a pitcher postcard you can send. The Chamber of Commerce is happy with pitchers like this considering it's November. Well, this, is normal. this is normal California weather, though, isn't it, Jeff? Sure is. We are so blessed. Ball again. He didn't have anything going for him outside. He tried to force it, and he lost yardage. Lila Lang coming in there along with Bo Yates, just stacking everything up the outside trying to force ball to go back inside he tried to cut back and there was no room there either <laughs> 99 yards 10 carries a couple of touchdowns for eric ball coming off last weekend's three touchdown performance where he picked up 128 yards and he's talking it over with donahue right now out of the shotgun third and five from the 38 for ucla Aikman firing for Anderson, and he finds him at the Washington 48-yard line. Art Malone covering on the play. 13-yard gainer for the Bruins, and another first down. The Bruins will be running out of a slot formation. Aikman going from the shotgun. Anderson, the outside man, running a turn in. Great timing by quarterback and receiver. Malone is right there, but a perfect pass. Willie Anderson comes back to the ball to make the catch. Willie Anderson out of Paulsboro, New Jersey. Art Malone, who made the stop, has been injured. He's missed three games, but he's able to play today. Mel Farr twisting and turning his way inside the 45-yard line. A penalty flag thrown at midfield. A legal procedure, the call, against UCLA. That'll make it first and 15 for the Bruins. Six minutes and 35 seconds left in the third quarter. UCLA leading Washington 19-14. Gaston Green now into the ball game. 
Mike Long, wide open. He makes a nice catch at the Washington 29-yard line. 24-yard pickup. I'll tell you, Mike Barnett had a great game against Arizona State with some key catches, but look at Aikman here. Wait for him to clear the linebackers. A nice job, Aikman, throwing it right over the top of the backers. A heck of a catch by Mike Farr. Big, big play for the Bruins, picking up 24 yards. Gaston Green, you see number 44. Hitch nerve in his neck has kept him out of action the last couple of weeks, but he's in there now at tailback. First and 10 Bruins at the Washington 29-yard line. On play action, Anderson. And he goes all the way down to the 15-yard line. Nice job of blocking by Russ Warnick of UCLA. Jay Roberts made the tackle for Washington. A wide receiver, quick screen. That's what that was. Four catches for Willie Anderson so far in the day. Again, a great block by Reggie Moore coming back on a crackback. Two key blocks for Reggie Moore so far in today's ballgame. UCLA has it first and 10 at the Washington 14-yard line. Mike Farr wide right, Reggie Moore wide left. UCLA out of the eye. On the reverse, four fumbles, but he gets his own fumble. And he gets up to the 14-yard line. I'll tell you, that was something because Bo Yates was coming on a linebacker blitz. He was going to sneak away from the, the outside receiver, Mike Farr. And as you know, there's Yates watching right there. See, he's running in the same direction as far. He doesn't know it's going to be reversed. Well, he tattoos Aikman. Far drops the ball, bounces right back up to him. Charles Arbuckle is in a tight end on the right side. Second and ten, UCLA. Aikman drops straight back to throw. Fires to Anderson. Touchdown. Flipper Anderson catches his sixth touchdown pass of the season, the 14th of his illustrious Bruin career, and the crowd loving it. 16th TD pass of the season for Aikman. 15 of those have come in Pac-10 play. Alfredo Velasco to attempt the PAT. It's good. Here at the Rose Bowl with four minutes and 32 seconds left. Third quarter, UCLA now leading Washington 26-14. Willie Anderson running a square out route, nothing fancy again. Straight drop back, set up and release. A heck of a pass by Aikman, a nice route run. He beats Malone the cornerback, and it's a touchdown UCLA. We're going to see it again. Straight drop back, nothing fancy. Man to man on the outside. Anderson beats Malone, touchdowns Bruins. So the Bruins trying to stay undefeated in Pac-10 action, leading the Washington Huskies 26-14. Willie Anderson is in pretty good company. The impressive thing about him, this season he has accounted for six touchdowns, 25 first downs with his 38 catches. And four of his five catches today have been for first down yardage and, of course, the touchdown. West Denton set to kick off for UCLA. They lead it 26-14 over Washington. David Toy, Greg Lewis, deep for Washington. Toy from his own five-yard line. And he is really hit by Randy Beverly at the 20-yard line, and a penalty flag is down. They have an illegal block of some type on that last play. That's normally what happens, a clip or a, a hold or something on the receiving team. That is Washington's first penalty today. Wow. That's really unusual. Yeah, it is. It's a you know, pretty clean ball game. And when you consider how much Washington rushes that football, runs with the football, 
to have no holding calls or clipping calls. It's an outstanding achievement for the Huskies. Gary Conklin, the quarterback for Washington. They've got it first and 10, but they're backed up at their own 10-yard line. Four minutes and 27 seconds left, third quarter. A 12-point lead for UCLA. Compton. He doesn't get any of that. Good job by Mike Lodi slamming down from his left defensive outside defensive end position, just slamming down to the inside and stopping it cold. Crowd getting into it a little bit on that last play. That'll bring up second and ten. Conklin sends Lockney wide right. Franklin split to the left side. Out of the eye, and the pitch goes to Vince Weathersby. Goes out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Chance Johnson, the man who ran him out. Chance Johnson has also done a consistent job on UCLA's defensive unit this season. He's out of Compton, California. Came in with the third best total as far as tackles are concerned, 67. Third and six from the 14-yard line for Washington. Tony Covington. Covington gets it out to the 20-yard line. Mike Lodish made the tackle for UCLA. I'll tell you what, Jeff, that's some hard yardage by that youngster, Tony Covington. 213-pounder, he ran like he weighed about 240. He was bouncing off guys, ran north and south all the way. A good job of running. Covington is a slashing type runner with great quickness. He also blocks well for his side. Shane getting out to measure. First down for the Huskies. It was close. That was very, very close. This partisan UCLA crowd didn't like that call at all. No, but see, they don't have a monitor like we do. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the first down. <laughs> Three and a half to play, third quarter, UCLA leading Washington, 26-14. Aaron Jenkins gets out to the 24-yard line. Carnell Lake made the tackle for UCLA. If Washington has a problem in a game like this, their offense is not designed to play catch-up as you look at Coach Donahue mulling things over. Offensively, Washington has to take a lead and have a decent lead in order for them to run their offense, which is predominantly ground-oriented. Second and six from the 24-yard line for the Washington Huskies. Now they shift into the I formation. Hoffman to throw, has time. Great individual effort on the part of James Washington. Franklin will be running an over route from right to left. We'll see the pass, the pass right on the money, but a super job by James Washington. Coming up from his free safety, stepping up inside the receiver, picking it off. 20 interceptions for UCLA on the season, their second of the day, the second of the campaign for James Washington. Gaston Green in the UCLA lineup. First and 10 Bruins at the Washington 37-yard line. Green gets the call. And he is tripped up at the 29-yard line by Lilo Lang. 921 yards coming in on 170 carries. Gaston Green, the all-time leading rusher for UCLA. Second and two. Mike Barr is wide right. 
Williams and Audible. Aikman looking for far and he can't hold on. Art Malone covering for Washington on the play. Oh, just a little bit too far for Mike Farr. Get that kind of too far for Mike Farr. <laughs> Extended very nicely though. Got the ball on his fingertips. Just couldn't quite bring it in. Mike Farr will get a breather. It's good to see some of the UCLA players coming off injuries playing today. 26-14 in favor of UCLA. Mel Farr. Charles Arbuckle. The name two. Aikman. Complete to Anderson. And he couldn't get away from Ricky Andrews. A Washington Rover brings him down at the 15-yard line. 14 yards for UCLA. And there you have it. Another first down for Willie Anderson. Five first down catches in this ball game alone. Well, five catches and five first downs. Is a, of course, if you look at his average, he's averaging 19.9 yards per catch coming into today's game. That's an outstanding average for an outside receiver. David Keating into the ball game for the Bruins. He's wide left. Mike Farr goes in motion. Gaston Green gets a couple of yards out to the 13-yard line, brought down by Bruce Beal. Beal is a 50-year senior out of Portland, Oregon. Clock is running. A little over a minute to play, third quarter. UCLA looking for more. They lead it 26-14 over Washington. Reggie Moore is wide left. Anderson split out to the right side. Green in motion. Aikman. He can run the football. He's into the end zone. Touchdown. receivers and then stepped up in the pocket saw some daylight and he scores his second rushing Aikman. touchdown of 87. Aikman going back in the pocket he gets a little bit of pressure from the outside pulls the ball down makes the determination to heckle them want to take off right now just does get that ball and breaks the play for the touchdown. Velasco to attempt the PAT. It's good. 52 seconds left third quarter and now UCLA out in front of Washington, 33-14, as we take one more look at the touchdown. Here's Aikman again. He's looking for his outside receivers. Again, pressure from the outside. He just tucks that ball down, and he takes off right up the middle. He knows there's nobody there. He's going to try and squeeze it in for the touchdown. The ball just does get in the end zone before his knee touches down. Troy Aikman, he has done... Just an outstanding job for UCLA this season. He has been Mr. Consistency for the team. Today's game is brought to you by Great Western's family of companies. Over $28 billion in assets. 100 years strong. We'll always be there. And by Avis, who invites you to go in style with a new Cadillac or similar luxury car for only $45 a day. Remember, your other car is an Avis. Denton kicks off. Lewis from his own two-yard line. And Lewis brings it all the way out to the 26-yard line. Scott Stevenson, Craig Davis in on the stop for UCLA. Well, this is a time that the Huskies have got to get something moving. Third quarter coming to a close. They're going to have to get this ball and take it down there and get a touchdown. Not a field goal, but get a touchdown if they want to stay in this ball game. First and 10 for the Huskies at their own 26-yard line. 33-14, UCLA leading. Conklin has good protection, and it's complete over the middle to Weathersby. Weathersby gets it all the way out to the 40-yard line. He was finally tackled by Allen Dial, a 14-yard pickup for Washington. We got a flag down. He was going to have an offensive hole against Washington. That's exactly right. 
So a nice play is nullified by only the second penalty for Washington in the ball game. He comes at an inopportune time for the Huskies, though, after a great move by Vince Weathersby to pick up 14 yards. So UCLA will take the penalty. It will be first down again. 20 yards on two penalties for Washington. Chandler, getting a little antsy. Think he's hurting a little bit too. Tell by the way, he's just kind of leaning to one side, tilting that hip pointer is bothering him a little bit. Cochran gives to Weathersby, and Chance Johnson wraps him up and drops him at the 20-yard line. Chance Johnson made the tackle. That might be the final play of the third quarter. There's the gun. We play three quarters here at the Rose Bowl. UCLA leads Washington 33 to 14. We'll be back with the final 15 minutes for you in just a moment. After three quarters, a statistical picture. Washington still uh, has more first downs. Four, they lead it in yards rushing. But UCLA has passed them in yards passing 244 to 130 and in total yards 385 to 287. Washington, three turnovers, and they have had the football, oh, about just under four minutes longer than UCLA. Total yards, almost 100 more for the Bruins as you look at the score, 33-14. Two quick touchdowns by UCLA, got them off to a good start. So Washington will really have to come alive here in the fourth quarter to win this football game. And this really will dash uh, their hopes for any kind of consideration for a major bull. As we talked in the pregame, a couple of things they want to do. Naturally, they want to beat the Bruins, who are leading the pack undefeated in the Pac-10. But they also want to, you know, win this ball game because they will get an opportunity to play in a bowl or accept a, a bowl bid. The best in girls prep volleyball comes your way as Prime Ticket presents the CIF 5A Championship. All the action begins tomorrow night at 7.30. Washington has the football, second and 15 from their own 20-yard line. Aaron Jenkins, Vince Weathersby, split backs behind Kerry Conklin. Conklin to Franklin, complete at the 25-yard line. a fine catch by Daryl Franklin. He really had to have uh, some athletic ability on that to come back and pick that ball up off the top of the ground. Should have been that difficult to throw for Kerry Conklin. Conklin coming off a great performance last weekend. 18 of 32 for 237 yards and a pair of TDs. Third and 11. He's getting rushed. Looking for Franklin again. Incomplete. Nice job by Daryl Henley of UCLA covering on the play. Franklin was open, but nice recovery by Daryl Henley to strip the ball. Franklin on a go move, comes down, makes his break to the outside. The ball should be already there right now. Here comes Henley, gets that left hand in, right hand on the back, strips that ball away from the receiver. Nice job by Daryl Henley. Eric Canton into the ball game for Washington to do the punting back from his own 10-yard line. Henley deep for UCLA at his own 35. Calls for a fair catch, and he makes it. A 41-yard punt delivered by Eric Canton. UCLA has the football first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. And the Bruins lead Washington 33-14 on the scoreboard. Across town, if USC is able to knock off Arizona, we'll have the big showdown next weekend between USC and UCLA and that game 
very well could decide who wins the Pac-10 Conference and goes on to the Rose Bowl. Gaston Green. And he's out to the 36-yard line, tackled by Bo Yates and David Rill. David Rill came into this ball game the Pac-10 leader in tackles. He's a good one. He is, boy, 138 tackles coming into today's ball game. A couple of sacks, four tackles for losses. And one fumble recovery. Yeah, he looked at Gaston Green. They're going to give him a little test this afternoon. That's why he's in there seeing how his neck and shoulder are responding. Second and eight from the 36 for UCLA. Aikman, complete to Mike Farr, a penalty flag down. Eugene Burkhalter made the tackle on Farr at the 42-yard line. Again, we may have a holding call going against the Bruins down there. The face mask. Whoa, -ho -ho. It's an unusual call when you consider where that flag was thrown. Referee is talking it over with Troy Aikman. Thirteen minutes, thirty-five seconds remaining in this football game, and UCLA with a comfortable 33-14 lead. Trying to do, trying to debate which will give them the most amount of yardage whether to take the play or take the penalty. Of course, when you think of some of the Donny Brooks these two teams have played, you immediately go back to 1983. That was a wild matchup. That was the last the time these two teams got together here in Southern California. Husky uh, quarterback Steve Ballure and his Bruin counterpart Rick Neuheisel locked up in a near unbelievable passing duel. Talk more about that in a minute. First and 10 from the 47. Mel Parr. <laughs> he crashes into Washington territory down at the 47-yard line. Jay Roberts made the stop. In that game in 83, Neuheisel set an NCAA record for completion percentage. He hit an incredible 25 of 27 passes for 287 yards. And Fleur hit 19 of 25 for 305. What a great duel that was. UCLA won that game 27-24. Second and five for the Bruins at the Washington 48-yard line. On play action, Aikman. Firing for Anderson. And he held on. I don't know how, but he held on to the football. What a catch. Just a great individual job by Willie Flipper Anderson. He runs it out and out. Out and up route. Now watch the out move. Now he's trying to bring Art Malone, the defensive back, up. Malone stays back in fine fashion. Now watch him go out and pluck this ball out of the air. Super job with Malone all over him. A heck of a job. Seventh catch for 102 yards. Another Bruin first down at the Washington 22-yard line. 12 and a half to play in this football game. Gaston Green. And he's down at the 17-yard line. Jay Roberts in on the stop for Washington. Jay Roberts, tackle. Gaston getting his timing back, getting ready to head into next week's ball game. Running pretty good, looks pretty good. Gain of five, it'll be second and five from the 16-yard line. Reggie Moore wide left, Anderson wide right on play action. Aikman getting left on the attack. Travis Richardson, the man who dropped him for Washington. Richardson. Richardson out of Olympia, Washington. He's a red shirt freshman. Makes a fine play. Richardson coming from the right side. Aikman never really sees him. Richardson will be getting his seventh sack of the season. Leads the team in sacks. Nice job by Travis Richardson. Bites off the block of Russ Warnick. Comes in behind and picks, picks off Troy Aikman. Gaston Green on that last play was wide open, but Aikman didn't see him. Third and 11 for the Bruins at the Washington 23-yard line. Mike Farr in motion. Gas 
Jackson Green goes against the green. He's inside the five-yard line. Lilo Lang and Bo Yates combined on the tackle. 19 yards for Gaston Green, and he almost went all the way. Missing last week. Now watch the watch his feet. They're close to the ground. Now watch the moves he makes. Right to left. Now he just shoots right up there through the hole. Runs right by Russ Warning. He's just got so much speed and quickness. He just runs right by his offensive blockers. Aston Green, 37 yards on five carries. First and goal Bruins from the Washington four. And he's out to the game in motion. Pitch goes to Green. to take care of business, and he waltzes in for another UCLA score. Jackson Green, the tailback, takes the pitch to make, and watch him settle in behind 22, Mel Farr. He's going to settle right in there behind Farr's backside. He finally makes his move to the outside, and nobody's close to get a hand on him. Heck of a job, too, by the offensive line, Dave Richards and John Kidder on that right side. Tenth touchdown of the season for Gaston Green. during his career. That is a UCLA record. The PAT by Velasco is good. That stops the clock with 10.42 left of the game. UCLA 40, Washington 14. We'll be back to the Rose Bowl right after this. Well, today UCLA has taken care of business and they lead Washington 40 to 14 with 10 minutes and 42 seconds left in the game. West Denton set to kick off. Greg Lewis and David Troy deep for Washington. Troy at his own four-yard line. And he gets out to the 20. Lockwood dropped him. Who is that, ladies and gentlemen? Quick now. Terry Donahue, when he was an offensive lineman for his alma mater back in 1966. 190 pounds. Look at the puffy cheeks. He was really bulked up, too. Look at the chipmunk. <laughs> he has turned out to be one heck of a college football coach. Fine coach, fine gentleman. And as we all know, the National Football League Atlanta Falcons wanted him desperately and offered him all kinds of money. He turned it down. First and ten, and Kerry Conklin on play action has time, and it's deflected in midair, and it drops incomplete. And we have tempers flaring on the far side, but quickly an official breaks that up. Kelly John Lewis, the offensive left guard for Washington, getting into it with one of the defensive linemen, looked like Jim Waller for the Bruins. Washington right now, they've been beat, they've been beat soundly. What they've got to do is they've got to come back and play for a little bit of respectability and try and get some points on the board. Conklin's had a rough day, 4 of 14 for 41 yards, and he's been picked off twice. Second and 10 for the Huskies. On the option, Conklin keeps it, and Mike Lodish brings it down at the 23-yard line. Mike Lodish. the tackle. Chandler and Conklin. Chandler, 10 of 12 for 93 yards, and Conklin has missed on 10 of his 14 attempts. But Chandler is just hurting too much, or he'd be out there. Third and seven for the Huskies at their own 24-yard line. Ten minutes left in this Pac-10 football game. I'm Jeff Witcher, along with Jack Snow. Hope you've enjoyed the action. Over the middle, and it's complete to tight end. Bill Ames, and he's brought down by Chance Johnson at the 26-yard line. Another fine job turned in by the Bruin defense. They're applauded by the crowd. Quickness on the part of the UCLA defense definitely offsetting the size advantage of Washington. Eric Canton again to punt. He got off a good 41-yarder in his last attempt. Henley deep again for UCLA. Fair catch called for, and he makes it at the 46-yard line. 27-yard punt. 9-21 left in this one. UCLA leading it comfortably. 
for now at quarterback for UCLA. Gives it to the second man through the tailback. Ryan Brown picks up good yardage to midfield. Again, UCLA with good field position, st position starting on their own 47. Washington not making them drive very long for touchdowns. Second and eight for the Bruins. David Keating is wide right, far in the slot to the right. Mel Farr gets the handoff. Powers his way for a couple of yards. Art Hunter made the stop for Washington. Remember Brendan McCracken, the number two quarterback at UCLA. He's out for the rest of the year with a broken collarbone. Suffered last weekend. No statistics on Ron Carragher other than the fact he is six feet two and weighs 194 pounds. He's out of Morgan Hill, California. He's carried the ball a couple of times for six yards. Third and five out of the shotgun. He's going to run with the football. He's got some room. Penalty flag goes down, and he goes down at the 44-yard line. Bruce Beal made the stop, helped out by David Rill, and let's see who the penalty goes against. We may have a hole against the Bruins, but the last time we saw a flag in that area, it was a face mask against Washington. Not this time, holding the call against UCLA. Of course, the fact that McCracken went down means that you don't want anything to happen to your number one man now, Troy Aikman. No, he, his value to the team has just doubled when McCracken broke his collarbone up in the uh, Oregon State game last week. So you want to get Troy out of there ASAP. <laughs> and this gives a chance for Rob Carragher, the young sophomore, good sized guy. Big kid, as we said, 6'2", 194. He's got some, uh, some good ability, good strong arm. All he needs is some playing time, some experience. Third and 15 on the 42-yard line. Third down and five for UCLA. Ryan Brown. Brown gets back up to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Troy Aikman, 6 of 10 in the first half for 72, and then he really put it into high gear in the second half, 11 of, of 13, 175 yards. 17 to 23, that's a very good outing, exceptional outing. Hung in the pocket very well, he's talking to Dave Richards, his big offensive pass protector at right tackle. On fourth and long, Harold Barkade in to punt it away for UCLA. Des Moines Williams deep for Washington. Barcade has had one block this season. He gets it away. Williams at his own 20-yard line. And he goes down, and penalty flags go down as well. 37-yard punt by Barcade, a one-yard return for Williams. Let's see what the uh, officials say on the penalty. Just under seven minutes left in this Pac-10 encounter. UCLA 40, Washington 14. Again, going back to early in the ball game, Washington. Washington is not a bad football team. They're a good football team, but you can't spot a team like UCLA. Two quick touchdowns as they did in the first quarter and try and stay with them. Too many tools for UCLA. fouls on that one, a clip and a personal foul. And both against Washington, both yes, both against just what they need right now. They're down by 26. It's a ball on their own 20 yard line. <laughs> they played a penalty free first half, but they have had problems here in the second half with the penalties. Well, what's amazing about this Washington team, we'll get to it, <laughs> He's 
stop and consider that coming into today's game in the pass defense department, Washington was number one. They led the Pac-10 in pass defense. And uh, Troy Aikman, you saw his numbers a moment ago. He just shredded them, 17 to 23, about 245 yards. 40-14 in favor of UCLA, 6.52 left in the football game. Washington backed up to their own four-yard line, first and 15, and that's caught. <laughs> Officials still trying to uh, determine is the ball placement right? Did we make the right call? Larry Thompson talking with over with one of his crew. They're okay. Wind it up, Larry. UCLA off to its best start this season since 1978 when it was 8 and 1 after nine games. <laughs> Gary Conklin gives it to Aaron Jenkins. And he's got good yardage as he crosses the 15 up to the 16 yard line. Doug Klein was in on the tackle for UCLA. <laughs> Aaron Jenkins, he's been a workhorse today, and we've got a timeout at the Rose Bowl. Six minutes and 41 seconds left in the football game. UCLA leading big over Washington. In UCLA's day, so far it's been UCLA's season. 40-14 over Washington. Trying to win their seventh without a loss in Pac-10 action. Second and two for the Huskies. Against Weathersby. James Washington finally brings it down at the 25-yard line. And Weathersby has enough yardage for the first down. Brad Bryson was also there for UCLA, as was Doug Klein. It's obvious that uh, Washington is not going to try and get real imaginative offensively. They're basically keeping the ball on the ground. Play action. Conklin has it intercepted by Marcus Turner, and he's knocked out of bounds. I believe it was Bill Ames who knocked him out of bounds for Marcus Turner, his second interception of the ball game, his fourth of the season. Marcus Turner, number 24, he's gonna come over from the left side, step right in front, and the ball's right, he throws the ball right to him. Conklin never sees him. Bad choice by the quarterback, Gary Conklin. Washington's fourth turnover of the day. Three interceptions and one fumble. And that simply is not characteristic of Don James football team. No, it is not. And uh, there it is right there, turnovers. First and 10 Bruins at the 30-yard line of Washington, Danny Thompson. Thompson, a nice run, and he gets down to the 18-yard line, finally brought down by David Will and Bruce Beal. Danny Thompson, the pride of Huntington Beach, California, six feet tall, 199 pound really? junior. He was moved from fullback to tailback, which is his natural position. Been a long day for Don James in his 13th season as head coach at Washington. That has been. Instead of being five and five against the Bruins, he's going to drop to four and six. Second and four for UCLA. Mark Estwood at fullback. Danny Thompson at tailback again. Thompson. Thompson, a nice run, all the way down to the 15-yard line. Bruce Beal again in on the stop. Art Hunter helped him out. Danny Thompson out of Huntington Beach High School, played for the Oilers. I saw him play when he was in high school. He did so many things well for that Huntington Beach team. Saw him make a one-handed catch. He even thought about going over to the defensive side of the ball this year for the Bruins. But the coaches, I think, talked to him about moving to defense. He said, no, I'd rather stay and play some offense. Very tough kid. First down from the Washington 15, Thompson again. And this 
touchdown. He picks up one yard, and that's it. 14 carries coming into today's game, averaging 5.9 yards a pop. Not bad stats when you consider you're in that group of those four outstanding tailbacks of UCLA. Let's go over and get a blow right now. Donahue and Coach Ted Williams, who's the running back coach for UCLA. Ryan Brown that takes over for Thompson and tailback. Penalty. It was either Bill Page of UCLA or Bob Willig of Washington. I think it may have been Bill Page, the offensive left tackle for UCLA. You win a trip to. <laughs> All expenses paid? No, I don't know about that. I don't have too much change on me. <laughs> four minutes, four seconds left in this Pac-10 football game in UCLA. Leading Washington 40 to 14. Sets up the big one next weekend. That is if USC beats Arizona. A little sloppy out there right now. A little miscommunication between uh, center and quarterback. And guys are jumping around, moving offside. Look at this. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. The line's not ready to go. Carrigan doesn't have his hands up there in proper position. Almost fumbles the snap, which he does. Falls back on it. Of course, you're playing a lot of new people. And they're antsy. And their folks are in the stands and girlfriends and whatnot. And they want to show their best. We have a third and 14 for UCLA at the Washington 18-yard line with a little over three minutes left in the football game. Ryan Brown. It's a down to the 15-yard line. David Rill, along with Jay Roberts, on the stop. Since Terry Donahue took over in 1976, his UCLA teams have averaged eight wins a season. And it's been a disappointing 1987 campaign for Chris Chandler. Again, repeating, he came into the season with some great expectations by his head coach, Don James. Fourth and ten for the Bruins. Chris Jordan in motion, and we've got penalty flags all over the field. Delay of game against UCLA. I guess Chandler should have known because in the first three games, he got banged up a little bit. And it might be that kind of season for him. getting rushed, breaks away, and he dives to the nine-yard line. Bruce Beal and David Rill made the stop for Washington. So the Huskies will take over on downs. Timeout here at the Rose Bowl, two minutes and 20 seconds left of the game. UCLA 40, Washington 14, back after this. More great college football action coming your way next weekend here on Prime Ticket, Saturday, November 21st. We've got an exciting doubleheader at 7 Pacific, and the Tigers will take on the Rebels of UNLV. Then at 11, the Stanford Cardinal will meet head-to-head -head with the California Golden Bears. Then on Sunday, the 22nd, it's the big one. UCLA and USC at the Coliseum. Kickoff, 4 p.m. All of that right here on Prime Ticket. Conklin gives to Weathersby, and he gets up to the 10-yard line, and that's it. Craig Davison on the stop for UCLA. 40-14, the Bruins leading it with two minutes left in the game. Jeff, I knew Washington was beat. 
I mean, when I knew they were beast, when I saw the band leaving the, their seats in the stadium and, and heading outside. When that band goes, you're in bad shape. Weathersby. Humble UCLA recovers. Fifth turnover for Washington. You can't do that. Ryan Wilcox recovered the fumble for UCLA. Taking the ball off the field with him, too. <laughs> We're going to watch Weathersby now. Let's see if he keeps that ball nice and tight into his body. He's got it in good fashion right there. He's got a good grip on it. He gets popped once. Now that he just loses it, he can't do that. Then all of a sudden, 62, Brian Wilcox comes in and falls on it for UCLA. Bobby San Jose and a quarterback for UCLA. Thompson is the ball carrier, and he gets down to the seven-yard line. Bruce Beal in on the stop. Also there, Bob Willing. Bobby San Jose, a freshman out of Long Beach, California. A little over a minute to play. Six, one and a half, 186 pounds. Second and five for UCLA. Thompson. Down at the four yard line. Thompson has not scored a touchdown as a Bruin. Clock ticking away, under 45 seconds left of the game. 40-14 in favor of UCLA. Mark Eswick, he's into the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> so Eswick scores his second touchdown of the season. Hard to stop a youngster like Mark Eswick. Give me the ball close to the goal line. You can't bring these number three and number four teamers in. She's a first teamer, but you can't bring these number three and four teamers in and uh, not let them give you 100%. And that's exactly what Mark Eswick did. Alfredo Velasco on the point after touchdown, and it's good. With 27 seconds left in this football game, UCLA is leading Washington 47-14. San Jose hands off to Estwick inside, a huge hole between center and left guard. There's nobody there. He just pile drives it into the end zone. Touchdown UCLA, another touchdown UCLA. Over 70,000 watching this game. The official attendance, 70,332. And they have seen another fine Bruin performance. Quarter by quarter, they got off in a hurry, 13 nothing, and then Washington came fighting back, took the lead at one point, 14-13, and then at halftime, UCLA led it by two, 16-14. In the second half, it's been all UCLA as they posted 17 points in the third quarter and 14 here in the fourth with 27 seconds left. Fourth quarter has been the weakest for the Washington defense also all year long. They've allowed 54 of their 176 points. They have come in the fourth quarter. So Washington not being a real good, basically a real good second half team, UCLA capitalizing on that. That's why the Bruins are rated fifth in the country. Denton kicks off. Wade Lewis gets up to the 22-yard line. Craig Davis in on the stop, along with Brian Lockwood for UCLA. So a disappointed crew on the western sideline here at the Rose Bowl. The Huskies had high hopes, not only for the season, but 
here against UCLA today. Yeah, they did. You know, we talked about that again. It's been so long since they've beaten them down here. But uh, they just got off to a bad start today early in the first quarter and have not been able to uh, recapture that, give too much momentum to the Bruins early. Tony Covington. Nice run as he crosses over to the 36-yard line. Yep, Cameron made the stop for UCLA. 14 seconds, all that remains in this one. Terry Donahue, you bet he's tickled. His record will go to 6-3 versus Washington. 9-1 overall, 7-0 in conference play. Weathersby has the football as time runs out. This game is over. Terry Donahue and his UCLA Bruins defeat Washington.